peace. What's up, y'all? It's Phil James. Today's Saturday. It's January 13th. It's 2018. All right. It is 2.30 p.m. And, yeah, so I just got a little notification for this story here. Hawaii residents received false emergency alert about an incoming missile. So this happened today. The alert was quickly confirmed to be a false alarm. So here's a screenshot from the a screenshot of the said alert. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. That's intense. Now I can tell you that if I receive that notification, that amber alert on my cell phone, I'll probably be like, holy shit, it's coming. It's here. Apocalypse now. You know what I mean? That's intense. Earlier today, Hawaiian residents got a disturbing, al disturbing alert on their phones and televisions. A missile inbound, and people should take shelter immediately. The notification was quickly confirmed to be false, and Hawaii, Hawaii outlets are reporting that it was sent in error. So, the alert which read, Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Alarmed residents who posted screenshots of the notification on Twitter. The notification was quickly labeled a false report. Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, a screenshot of the alert saying that it was a false alarm and that she had confirmed with officials that there was no danger to the island. Hawaii's Emergency Management Agency likewise confirmed that there was no threat and that it was investiga investigating the incident. The U.S. Pacific Command noted that the message was sent in air and a correction has since been sent out. That's just, how does that happen? You know, how does a false ballistic income, how does a false incoming ballistic missile threat notification gets sent out on televisions and cell phones. You know what I mean? Like, those are two different services. So, pretty insane, pretty intense in my mind. Um, it's not immediately clear what prompted the notification, and despite the quick confirmation that the report was false, the notification is a jarring one for island residents. Given the considerable tensions between the United States and North Korea, such a notification is a nightmare to receive and could potentially erode trust in the system. Yeah, I would say so. But, you know, it's like the cry wolf scenario. Let them cry wolf, and then next time they're just like, oh shit, it's just a test, who cares, right? And then, boom, bomb slams. Could we be about, could we about, like, could we be at the time where we're about to experience a secondary type Pearl Harbor event? At this point in time in history, in our present, it wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> Last year, Hawaiian officials announced that they were preparing to resume the Cold War era early warning system used to alert residents of an impending attack. This continued in the mid 1900s or 1990s. I'm sorry. The test resumed on December 1st using a siren that lasted about 50 seconds. So, obviously, I will have a link for you in the description below. I just thought this was a pretty insane emergency broadcast you know sent all through Hawaii and I'm wondering how it could be re received on cell phones and on televisions around the entire island you know this scared lots of people this was pretty intense and like I said that's not just you know some random alert in my opinion that's you know that's pretty that's pretty crazy pretty crazy thing to get alerted on your cell phone or your television so if I get any info on this story you know I will continue to update it I just hadn't seen anything about it yet so I figured I'd make a video throw it out there um, if you guys know anything feel free to leave it in the comments for other subs and myself to read and yeah keep an eye out for this and anything else relating <clears throat> peace y'all